my knight in shining poly cotton. Morning, Donna. How was the trip? Smooth, perfect. Sleep for yourself. She's still having some penis issues. I'm sorry. Am I missing something? I believe you're missing the fact that Dr. Sloan is planning to remove my husband's penis this afternoon. Oh, uh, and your husband is right here. Daniel Gibson, 34, in for sexual reassignment surgery. Donna, not Daniel. She's been living as Donna for two years. Come on, Gray. So essentially, today we are inverting his, uh, her, uh, her penis. That's okay. You'll get it. <laughs> you know the steps for a vaginoplasty? Not exactly. Well, if you want to get in on this operation today, you better learn. Don't pay any attention to him. You're doing very well. Better than I did when I first found out. We just need to run a few pre-op labs, make sure everything's in working order. And then surgery today. Yeah. Big day, Donna. You excited? Excited doesn't begin to cover it. You're gonna do great. I'm sorry, Donna. The labs don't lie. Breast cancer? I'm sorry. I'm really. The needle aspiration showed abnormal cells in your breast tissue. Rare, but it happens. So, the hormones I've been taking are essentially giving me cancer? Yes. That's why we need to stop the hormone therapy and start the treatment. Or the cancer will get worse. The operation? There'd really be no point. Once we stop the hormones, your breasts will shrink, your facial hair will grow back. She'll become a man again. What if I do the operation, keep taking the hormones? What, ha what happens then? Donna, you really want to treat this now while it's still in its early stages. So if I keep taking the hormones, you'd be feeding the cancer. I could die? Are you saying if I become a woman, I could die? I've wanted this since I can remember. I've waited forever. I'm not stopping now. Donna, listen to me. If you don't do the operation, I'm going to go to New York and find another doctor. You're going to have a very hard time finding a surgeon. I'll find one. Donna, I'm trying to save your life. As a man, I am not a man. I'll fight the cancer. I'll just fight it as a woman. For God's sake, wake up, Daniel! My name is Donna. I'm not going to stand by and watch you kill yourself. I need Vicky to love me. But I need her to love me. There's someone here to see you. Oh, uh, well, I hope it's not that damn therapy dog again. Hi, Mom. What are you doing here? You're the one who wanted to see me. What? I got a call you were here. I, I didn't call you, okay? I, I tried to call your son, and I know that that was wrong. I'm sorry. I didn't even know that you had a daughter. I don't! Oh, come on! Pick up the pace. What aren't you getting here? They're one and the same. My son, Kevin. <laughs> okay. Okay. Please, relax. You had no right. You will never change. <laughs> and you look like crap, you know. You tried dying. I did, twice. Wasn't very good at it. Oh, you have to bring that up. It happened, Mom. Deal with it. I am who I am. Sorry. Did you ever consider for once what it was like for me? Oh, God, it's always about you. Did you ever consider what I had to deal with? To have your friends ask, how's your son? <laughs> to have to tell them. It killed your father. <laughs> oh, come on.
come on. What could possibly be funny about that? Dad died in a car accident. On his way to church to pray for you! <laughs> that was a stretch, even for you. <laughs> I gotta say, you look good. Lucky for you, you got my bone structure. Try to stay calm, all right? I'm trying. How long have you been short of breath? A day or so. My regular doctor's on vacation. I'm pretty particular about who I see. Smart lady. Dr. Barnett will be with you right away. Let's see, we've got cough and dyspnea on exertion. How are we feeling, Miss, um, Mitchell? Ms. So-so, I guess. Okay. Ms. it is. We're gonna run a few tests, get back, and examine you as soon as possible. Icon, CBC, and chest x-ray. EKG, too. You the man. Thought Ms. went out in the 80s. Here you go for the urinalysis. Um, is there any chance that I could see another doctor? Hi, I'm Dr. Lewis. What seems to be the problem? Just a little winded, mostly. Any fever? Coughing up any junk? No. A little effusion here. What's that mean? Ah, uh, just some fluid around your lungs, but heart looks good. No pneumonia. Does that hurt? No. I just... I didn't uh, tell the other doctor that I... Sam, could you go check on our labs? Sure. Hey, why is Lewis seeing my patient? Uh, the lab just patient. got back here a second ago. What the hell does she want from me anyway? Ms. Mitchell, I'm so sorry to keep you waiting, but I think I can explain to you why you've been so tired lately. You're pregnant. Congratulations. I think I got this. No, you don't. Come again? Excuse us. Yes, I still need to work up the effusion, but it's not like I need a chaperone for this. She requested another doctor. Why would she do that? Maybe because she's a he and didn't feel comfortable telling you that. She's a pre-op transsexual. But it was a positive pregnancy test. <sighs> yeah, which in a man means only one thing. Hey. Hi. Dr. Lewis was put into a critical case and won't be available for a while. Now, I'm sure you prefer her to do this, but we don't have a lot of time, and unfortunately, I'm going to have to be the one to tell you. We think you have testicular cancer. What? Yeah, your urine was positive for a hormone called beta-HCG. Now, in women, that hormone means pregnancy. In men, it means testicular cancer. Are you sure? Yeah, we've run a number of blood tests that support the diagnosis, and we will do a testicular ultrasound, but yeah, I'm sure. But listen, it's treatable. Even if it spreads, your chances are great, okay? That's funny. What? I was getting rid of the equipment anyway. Ms. Mitchell? You mind if I ask you why you wanted another doctor? It's like you put on some kind of show here, like you're not comfortable in your own skin. I don't trust that kind of energy. I know it too well. <laughs> 